Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could do something to help yourself? When Dr. Stephanie Mines developed the Tara approach, she had personal empowerment in mind. By putting the power to heal in your own hands, you have the power to heal yourself. A simple philosophy, a simple idea, a simple approach with simple benefits. I really believe that the most potent healer is yourself. That the capacity to heal rests with us alone and that other people can be a resource and can be mentors and guides and models but ultimately it's the self-care the willingness to participate in your own process that really allows you to completely resolve shock and trauma and that's my main teaching trajectory is self-care we all have energy pathways in our body and those energy pathways report on our well-being. Sometimes those energy pathways get confused because of stress and then they run into each other or run backwards. Uh, this is a treatment for that kind of internal confusion which is simply holding the top of the shoulder and the base of the buttock. This allows energy to descend into the body it allows you to become embodied. The Tara approach is really an incredible amalgamation of the greatest blessings of Eastern and Western science. While I studied for well over 20 years with Mary Eno Burmeister, who taught me the art of Jinchen, a Japanese healing system, I simultaneously engaged in my own research into the neurology and physiology of shock and trauma which ultimately led to my doctoral dissertation and I've put both arenas together to create the Tara approach so it's a hands-on system where we learn to read the energy of the body and to balance it I think different forms of energetic medicine <clears throat> are very useful tools for healing and um, the Torah approach is one of those, and it's Stephanie's special blend of techniques. I think that, that works so well. The letters, T-A-R-A, -A, are an acronym for Tools for Awakening, Resources, and Awareness. And simultaneously, Tara is the name of a goddess. Uh, in Buddhism, there is the goddess Tara, who is the incarnation of mercy and compassion. She's uh, a great unconditionally loving mother figure and I thought that both the acronym and the relationship to the goddess Tara were completely appropriate for the Tara approach. What's particularly uh, different about this approach is that it includes a self-care component where we're able to use uh, touch to activate the energy systems in the body and to um, use that as a basis for healing. And it's not a substitute for traditional Western medicine, the allopathic approach. But it seems to me from what the experiences that I've seen people go through this system have, is that uh, the Eastern understanding that healing doesn't happen without bringing balance to the energy system of the body is, is fundamentally true. As I've stated in my books, I myself am a survivor, and I would say a thriver, uh, who despite overwhelming experience manifests my sole purpose here. Uh, and I'm very grateful for that. And the systems that I've used to resolve my own shock and trauma are exactly the systems that I teach others. However, what I've observed is not only my own transformation, but the transformation of millions, countless others, who have benefited from the Tara approach. So I'm working out for half an hour to an hour, and I'm usually overheated as I'm leaving, and it is more difficult for me to walk because of the MS. I'm slower, and my, my gait is not as steady. So what I do is I sit um, uh, on one of the benches just outside of the, uh, the gym, and I treat myself. I start off with my, my treatments and I sit there until I feel 
some shift in um, my muscles. Um, um, I don't know exactly how to describe what I'm uh, experiencing, but I experience a shift and, and uh, I'm listening for the, um, the pulse for each of the points. And after a while, I simply get up and walk to my car. And it's, it's the most amazing thing. The Tara approach is a blessing to the world. And I offer it for the benefit of all beings. The most important thing that I want to say about Stephanie, well, I would like to sing her praises. Because Stephanie, Stephanie's work um, is international work that centers around empowering people, teaching them tools that are within their hands, using energetic medicine to heal. And I don't think that she receives enough credit for that. I feel that, first of all, her work is international, um, and she's worked with so many different populations from the HIV positive AIDS population, which she trains for free through her nonprofit, The Dom Project to women and children who've been abused, to uh, indigenous populations in Mexico and Hawaii who are using her techniques to heal and to help others heal from shock and trauma. I don't think that she receives enough recognition for this work and uh, she comes with very powerful tools for healing. Are you ready to try the Tara approach? Hello, I'm Dr. Stephanie Mines, and I'd like to share some energy medicine with you. This is called Palm Inju. It's done by simply bringing your hands into a prayer position. The palms of all your fingers and the palms of your hands are touching, so there's a slight pressure, minimal, but sufficient to give you the experience of contact. Palm Inju brings you into the natural place of integrity and centrality, which is your birthright. So under any stressful circumstances, Palm Inju will bring you into who you really are. It's that simple. Thank you for taking this journey into energy medicine. The Tara approach is described in detail in Dr. Mind's new book, We Are All in Shock, available at all bookstores and online through Career New Pages Press at www.newpagebooks.com. For more information on the Tara approach or to order We Are All in Shock and other books by Dr. Mind's directly, contact us at www.tara-approach.org or by phone at 303 499 9990. Dr. Minds is also available by email at tara-approach at prodigy.net.